S&P 500 and NASDAQ closing at all-time highs. The Dow up, gold up, real estate... Hello and welcome to another TrendSpider technical analysis series video. If like me, you're someone who spends a great deal of time online, you have likely heard all about emerging AI tools like ChatGPT. Whether you're new to the markets or a seasoned veteran, it can be difficult to know exactly where to start in regard to testing trading strategies. So in this video, we will explore leveraging ChatGPT and TrendSpider to do exactly that. Let's dive in. We start by brainstorming, and we simply ask ChatGPT to provide us with a list of popular, successful day trading strategies for the 15-minute time frame. The AI creates a list of eight different broad-based trading strategy ideas, from momentum to moving average crosses, RSI divergence, FIB retracements, VWAP, and more. To keep things simple, we'll choose option number one, momentum trading. For our next prompt, let's get a bit more specific about the momentum strategy that was suggested in prompt number one. Here, we ask ChatGPT to create a high win rate momentum trading strategy for the 15 minute time frame. The results come back and it gives me a list of basic parameters that are likely to define a momentum based strategy. It says we need to be in a positive trending market, we should have high volume associated with the move, and momentum indicators like RSI or MACD should be flashing bullish momentum. Next, ChatGPT goes on to define how we should think about both our entries and our exits. It says we should look for a breakout above a resistance level and potentially even combine that with a moving average cross. It also tells us we should predefine our exit via risk management tools like stop losses and take profit orders. It even suggests a minimum of a two to one or three to one risk to reward ratio. Pretty intuitive, right? Let's take it to the next level though. We want to utilize this in TrendSpider. So with our next prompt, let's get more specific to the platform. In prompt number three, we ask ChatGPT to use the criteria it defined in prompt number two to create a set of parameters for our entry and exit that can be inputted specifically into TrendSpider strategy tester. ChatGPT not only tells us how to define trend direction, but also the settings we should define for the volume, momentum, and price. For trend direction, it tells us to define that the 50 period SMA is greater than the 200 period SMA. This means we're in a bullish trend. Let's input that condition on the entry side of the strategy tester. For momentum, it tells us to define that RSI is greater than 50. We input that next. Finally, for the breakout, it says we want to see the price breaking above the VWAP. On TrendSpider, this is scripted using two parameters. The first parameter will define that price is breaking through the VWAP. The second will define that it's closing above the VWAP. Next, we need to define our exit criteria. And in this case, let's use the conditions ChatGPT provides for the short trade. They're the exact same conditions as our long entry, just opposite. Now that we have our momentum strategy defined in TrendSpider, we ask ChatGPT to give us a list of the best momentum stocks. Of the names it suggests, my favorite happens to be Tesla, so we'll use that. The test automatically runs, and notice that I've run it without the risk management tools that were suggested in prompt number two. Specifically, there's no stop loss or take profit. The reason for this is that every stock is unique and therefore the stop loss and take profit values might be unique per each name. In order to help understand how to choose stop loss and take profit values, TrendSpider's strategy tester has a tool called the Price Behavior Explorer, and we can use ChatGPT to help us understand this tool. Next, we ask it to explain how we can use the Price Behavior Explorer to help us define our take profit and stop loss values. Within the list of items it provides, let's focus on bullet point number seven, which tells us that we should choose a stop loss level that provides a balance between giving the trade room to breathe and minimizing our risk. In order to properly define a stop loss, we need to know the path that our trades tend to take. By using the Price Behavior Explorer and specifically the min-max change for winners and losers, we can visualize the level where our winners tend to draw down before reversing and set a stop just below it. I can see on the chart that that level is at about 5%, so I should set a stop loss for that value. 
Additionally, using what we were told about risk to reward ratios, if our stop is at 5%, that means we need to be making at least double that or two to one on our winning trades. With that in mind, let's add a 10% take profit and rerun the test. Now we've gotten the results back and they're not all that great. There's some no-go highlighting visible, which suggests that there are fundamental flaws in our strategy and we should not go live with it until those flaws are fixed. Let's ask ChatGPT to help us. In the final prompt, we ask ChatGPT for some variations on this strategy that we could try in order to make it perform better. We can see it suggests a number of things, different time frames, adding a confirmation layer like a chart pattern, filtering out low volatility periods, or using trail stops. To keep things simple, just as we did earlier, let's try the first option and change our time frame. I'll try something slightly bigger and utilize the hourly. Success! Changing the time frame was the final step we needed to make this strategy profitable, reliable, and consistent. Now that we have our strategy and the name that we want to trade it on, let's put it into action. Once your test is run, click the Launch as Trading Bot button. A text box will appear that will allow you to define how you want to utilize your new bot. You can forward test and receive alerts to your phone or email by simply checking the SMS and email boxes and then clicking Create Bot. Take it a step further with webhooks, which allow you to link the bot directly to your broker via an order routing service like SignalStack. The bot can automatically place trades for you when the conditions are met. So there you have it. We just created a profitable trading strategy with very little prior knowledge and only six prompts from ChatGPT. Pretty cool, right? I hope you found this video helpful, and I look forward to seeing you in another TrendSpider technical analysis series video soon. As always, happy trading and catch you next time.